if you have a look at your your lead coming in from the probe, there's a, a, a range of little raised sliders on it. If you take the thickest one, it's always at 12 o'clock. So if you have your thumb where that is, start about 10 o'clock, rotate slightly till you feel it, engage, and then screw it home safely. It's a wee bit stiff for the first few, few times that you do it. Couldn't be new. That's you get your, your probe connected in. The power, it comes in at the back. The back of the machine here, your DC lead comes in here. Even if you're using mains power, it comes through a DC adapter first before it goes in there, so it's the same connection. Just a three, two pin socket into here and screw it home. Far the safest way, safest way to uh, to work your OV6 machine is through a battery. Um, there's no hassle. Everything's at 12 volts. Works perfectly well. We use these uh, laser batteries. I can scan flat out for about five or six days. You know, 12, 14 hour days using one of these laser batteries. The wee battery packs that you get. For using with the dual scan, the rechargeable patch, you can also use them for, for running for, uh, I don't know, maybe six or seven hours out of them. Red to positive, black to negative. Switch in here. The non button power, just hold it down for a couple of seconds. That's you up and running. As you can see now, the probe. Motor started to move in the probe. 